In this problem, we're going to be solving this integral using integration by parts. And so it's going to be the integral of t times e to the minus 3 t dt. And so whenever you solve a problem using integration by parts, you have to determine what's going to be u and what's going to be dv. So generally, whenever you have a variable by itself, like t in this case, you want to set that to be u. So we're going to set u equal to t, and then the rest of it is just going to be dv. So the rest of your uh, equation right here, or your, the rest of your function is just going to be dv. So e to the minus 3t times dt. And so keep in mind what the formula is when you solve something using integration by parts. Use the formula of u times v minus the integral of v times du. So notice in this case, we don't have v and we don't have du. So what we need to do is find those. So we need to find du and we need to find v. So du is just going to be the derivative of u. And so the derivative of t is just going to be dt, right? It's just going to be 1. Well, the derivative of t is 1. And then you multiply by dt. 1 times dt is dt. And then what we need to do is find uh, v given dv. And so essentially, it's just going to be the integral of this. But the way I like to think about it is we need to find a function whose derivative is this right here. And so if you have an e to a variable like this, right? Like So we have e to the minus 3t. That's going to stay the same, except for out front, we need a... We need some variable out front. If we multiply by minus 3, it's going to become 1, right? Because we have a 1 right here. So what number times minus 3 is 1? It's going to be uh, minus 1 over 3, right? And you can see this if we take uh, the derivative of this, right? So e to the minus 3, t is going to be the same, the same. And then you multiply by the derivative of the inside, right? So minus 1 over 3 times minus 3 is 1. So that's just a way to check it. And so now we've got it like this. What we can actually do is just plug in. So let's go ahead and plug in. So equals u, which we know is t, times v, which is minus 1 over 3, e to the minus 3, t, minus the integral of minus 1 over 3, e to the minus 3, t, times du, right? And we know du is dt. So now we've got it like this. Essentially, this part is all solved, except for we need to find the integral of this now. But we can do this uh, just normally, right? So it's going to be equal to t, or I'm going to multiply this out. So minus 1 over 3 times t, so it's minus 1 over 3t times e to the minus 3t minus. And so we need to find the integral of this. So think about it just like the last one, right? So e to the minus 3t is going to say the same, right, this part. And so we need to find some number multiplied by minus 1 over 3 that's going to be, or some number multiplied by minus 3 to be minus 1 over 3. And so if you think about it, right, if we do 1 over 9, minus 3 times 1 over 9 is minus 1 over 3. So essentially, it's just going to be 1 over 9, right? So that's that. That's going to be the integral of this, of this right here. And so if we just rewrite minus 1 over 3 times t times e to the minus 3t, and then minus this whole thing right here, minus 1 over 9, e to the minus 3t. And so whenever you do these, remember, whenever you take an integral, you have to add a constant, right? So plus c. So this right here, minus 1 over 3 times t times e to the minus 3t minus 1 over 9 times e raised to the minus 3t plus c is going to be your final answer. And so, yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.